What up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Ron Bat, man. We're gonna dance. Before we get a video, man, follow my IG at the top, right? You already know what's going on. We got a prison story all up there. I ain't saying the word because I ain't trying to get a lot of time. Because if y'all don't know where you're at, let's go back to the other one. We're gonna skip this though. That man got it. I don't know what we got. I don't know. Hey, it's your boy B. I'm back with it. I mess with him though. He be talking to This is an update to the first story where I was talking about little dude that got seriously uh violated yeah we ain't saying the word right next door to me he even though we gotta make that money out the video man had, uh to reluctantly listen to it because we was in the room right next door we was locked down we heard it through the vent <clears throat> a lot of people was wondering about the status of them guys and uh I took it upon myself to find out now after that happened, they took both of them out of the dorm, of course. They sent little dude to medical. He had to go somewhere, got to do a medical. The big dude, they locked him down. They put him on this thing called the tier program. Is where you be locked in the room from nine months to two years. Damn. Okay, so I took it upon myself. I reached out to a couple people that I still know that's in there. I had to call around a little bit because a few people didn't know who I was talking about. And uh, I found out, okay, the little dude is at a, a mental health prison. Um, they say he's uh, he's on level four mental health, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, in Georgia. The highest level is five. So he's like right under the highest one. And the people that, that I spoke to personally, they uh, they told me he, he pretty much... He gone. He lost Damn. it. They say he do crazy stuff all day. Say crazy stuff. Um, he throw feces on the police a lot. Now, that don't just make you crazy because you got a lot of people that do that out of anger. But they say he a play. nasty as fuck, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that's that shit. Like, that's that nasty ass shit that I don't fuck with. Like, any nigga want to be on that gangster shit, bro. I know that shit, Jimmy. Age, you think a little different, like man. I wish a nigga would throw that, but they be, I be hearing shit like that, like nigga be throwing that on each other. You crazy? Don't play with me like that, boy. Crazy. Out of anger, but they say he a play in it for a minute, put it on his skin. They say he, they say yeah. mentally he gone. Then the, the prison giving him all kind of medicines to try to, I guess, help him. But they say that stuff ain't helping him. And they said, uh, they said uh, he he doing drugs pretty bad. So, oh, um, you know, when I was in there around, he wasn't doing none of that. He was, you know, seemed like a cool little dude. But I guess that uh, that took a toll on him on his mental. The big dude, um, I called around also. I was able to track him down. Um, they say he got stabbed once, probably like a year and a half after that happened. They let him off the tear program, and I guess he was around some people that remember that situation. And uh, they say they stabbed him up. But Damn. right now he's back uh, locked down. <clears throat> he's on something they got called High Max. And uh, allegedly he killed somebody or something after that. I don't know, but they say he, he locked down there for five years. But... Uh, and he got wild. a phone. So I was able to get the phone number from one of my guys that's at the same prison as him. And I called him up. <laughs> I asked him if he remembered me, this and that. He like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I got this YouTube thing going on. And uh, a lot of people interested in this story. I told him I told the story. I ain't say no names. And uh, if I could interview him on the YouTube and ask him, like, bro, what, what possessed you to do that? Okay. What made you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what was you going through? And uh, <laughs> he cussed me out real bad. I knew it. The phone, I knew the so bro wasn't going. I guess that's a no for that interview. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the story. That's the update. I just wanted to let y'all know. I'm gone. My brother tripping. Y'all boys tell me y'all think about it in the comments, man. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, man. I'm right, man. Okay.